Alright guys, so today we're going to be having a look at the Walking Dead crossover that's going to be happening in Modern Warfare 3, Warzone and Zombies. Now this is something that's been on the cards for quite a while guys and there's been a lot of information and leaks over the last few days but I kind of wanted to wait till everything could be pieced together as much as I could get before I made a full video. I didn't want to leave you guys hanging with any of the further news. There probably will be more news and leaks in the near future in regards to this but I've built up a lot of information that you guys will be interested in but if you do enjoy today video make sure you drop a like subscribe if you're new and turn on post notifications as you don't want to miss a single video here on the channel and also as well guys in the run-up to season one there's a lot of hype and there's a lot of information coming out and we know there's going to be loads of events and content so i'm going to be giving away one free battle pass to one of you guys who are subscribed to the channel and comment down below if you are interested in being a part of this giveaway and i will be announcing the winner on the day of season one launch which is december the 6th so it's literally next wednesday guys we get season one and i am definitely looking forward to getting that. So we've been wanting the Walking Dead event ever since Black Ops 2. Now the reason why I say Black Ops 2 is the Walking Dead has been airing for about 10 years and Black Ops 2 was the hype of zombies. That's when zombies really hit an all time peak and everybody really wanted a crossover back then and we've been wanting this for a very long time like I've mentioned and it's finally going to be happening. It's all in the data files, the events in there, everything is going to be happening and we've kind of got some form of confirmation on roughly when the launch might be which I'll discuss in just a moment's time. I just want to quickly mention though I know I've mentioned the boys event quite a few times the boys versus the seven. I just want to make you aware that there's going to be three new operators coming in so we're going to get A-Train, Firecracker and Billy Butcher all coming into Modern Warfare 3. This will all come in in the event. I don't know if any of these will be unlockable as rewards or you have to purchase them from the store but we'll find out that a bit closer to time I would imagine and there's also going to be a limited time mode called Temp vs Rangers. Basically this is just going to be its own little game mode that you guys will have to play as there is a challenge you'll need to complete on there. There is a few challenges already leaked for multiplayer. Obviously there will be challenges and probably limited time modes for both Zombies and Warzone as well. So we'll have to wait and see until we find out all that information. But so far uh, it's pretty much just multiplayer information we've had in regards to that event. But that event is coming up quick and fast. That should be happening during Season 1. And just a few updates in regards to Zombies as well guys. Modern Warfare, Zombies, Wallet System will will be coming into the game very shortly. Now this could come in as early as season one because we've had the wallet system set up before in DMZ. For you guys that don't know what the wallet system is, it's basically once you exfil whatever money you have remaining, it will actually go into a wallet. So once you respawn into zombies, you'll then be able to go ahead and use that money once again. So you won't lose all your money, which is brilliant. However, there potentially will be a cap on this. So then it's not being overpowered once you jump back into the zombies scene. So you definitely want to make sure you keep an eye out on that because that is going to be happening very, very soon. Also, we're going to see our roadmaps coming out very shortly for Season 1. Now, I do believe that there's going to be their own roadmap for Zombies as well because the amount of content that is coming to Zombies is probably not all going to fit on the multiplayer and Warzone roadmap, in all honesty with you. There is a lot of stuff. We've got new Wonder Weapons coming. We've got new different challenges, new locations potentially happening and different events and bosses all coming into Zombies, which are pretty damn awesome. And you guys definitely will be excited for that. Just want to make you aware of all that but just for the simple fact is we're talking about walking dead and zombies and everything's pretty much zombies related in this video so like i said the walking dead crossover then will be finally happening and there's gonna be a lot of stuff in regards to modern warfare zombies and the crossover as well there's gonna be a lot of like for like stuff from the series there's gonna be a brand new series coming out in february the 25th which is going to be the ones who live which is a storyline of michonne and rick grimes which are the two definite operators that are coming into the game now i don't know if they're going to be operators with their own call of duty style or if they're coming in from the series with their character in the series exactly looking like whatever they're wearing there uh, so we could see an option of characters as well likes of daryl glenn and negan and maybe carol there could be others there as well so there's gonna be a wide range of stuff coming into it obviously we don't know exactly who's in the ones who live so potentially we could see some other characters coming in the near future and also a crossover later down the line as we have had the boys crossover last year and we're also getting it again this year so potentially if this does extremely well I can see this being a crossover in Black Ops Gulf War or Black Ops 5 whatever that's going to be called so Call of Duty 2024 especially with that being like the main creator of zombies and everything that we love in regard to zombies in Call of Duty I can highly see it being another crossover I can't see this crossover failing anyway it's one that's definitely been needed since 2010 roughly you know we've been wanting this for a very 
very, very long time. So the likelihood of this being launched then is going to be around season two. Season two will be launching between early and mid February. We don't know any exact dates on that yet. Obviously, once the new battle pass drops, the new season drops, we will get a time frame on when that's going to be ending. But you normally do get a week or so before the new season starts anyway. So we will be seeing this towards the end of February, middle to end of February, this event being launched. So it's going to be very interesting on what's going to be coming into it. Now, that is pretty much everything that I know in regards to the Walking Dead crossover at the moment. Obviously, we do have season one around the corner. We've got a lot of brand new weapons coming into the game. We've got new cosmetics, new operators. Obviously, it's going to be a corny themed season, as I've mentioned in a previous video. If you have missed that video, I will leave it linked down below so you guys know exactly what operators we're going to be getting, everything you need to know about season one. But that is literally around the corner. Now, it's going to be interesting on what happens with zombies going forward. Like I said, we've got a couple of little updates that's happening with it in regards to like the wallet, etc. Um, but it is going to be highly interesting what's going to happen throughout the year with zombies and if we're going to see further collabs with other stuff in regards to zombies. Obviously, we've got the Walking Dead. Maybe we might see some kind of like DayZ kind of stuff. You never know exactly what's going to happen. Call of Duty always trying to do different partners and different crossovers now. They're really trying to expand in other ways instead of just sticking in their own lane like they always have done. It's nice to see that they are looking at these events and seeing what people will enjoy. Now, we do have a playlist update coming in a couple of days, guys. So we will have Russman and High Rise 24-7. Rust 24-7 will be ending, but essentially it is just basically coming back with shipment in there and Terminal 24-7 will also be ending. Modern Warfare 2 Mosh Pit will be ending as well, but I do believe that will be returning in Season 1 with some new maps on there. I do hope they do fetch the Farm 18 map back because I really do enjoy playing Farm 18. It probably is one of my most favourite maps in recent Call of Duties because to be fair, most new build maps haven't been very great over the last few years. So that is probably one of the better ones, even though it was um, arguably one of the worst games that we've had in a long time. I even preferred Vanguard a lot more than Modern Warfare 2. And to be honest, towards the end of Vanguard, the movement system was so crisp and clean back on there. So don't forget, guys, Season 1 will be dropping next week as well on December 6th. You will be able to go ahead and pre-install this, I believe, from the Monday. So on Monday, you will be able to pre-install Season 1 update ready for the brand new Warzone map of Urzakstan. But that is everything I wanted to discuss with yourself, guys. If you do have any questions or about the Walking Dead crossover, anything like that, comment down below. And if I can find information, I'll give you the answers. Definitely stay tuned on the channel because as soon as I get any dribs and drabs of information, that will definitely be mentioned in a video. Unless there's a lot of information, then I'll make another full lengthy video like this all in regards to Walking Dead. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And as, as always, guys, I'll catch you on the next video.